but she'll definitely be trying to do that tonight. Well, this one of the games that everyone will have been waiting for, especially Emma Hayes, who will be leaving at the end of this season. And the referee, Rebecca Welsh, this evening, has taken charge of this fixture five times. Despite the uh, delayed start, it certainly hasn't stopped the atmosphere inside this stadium. And ahead of kickoff, the players take the knee. A reminder that there is no room for racism or discrimination. And so away we go. A mouthwater start that Chelsea have made. They're on their front foot. Well, James who fires from distance, and it was ambitious. They are feeling confident tonight, Chelsea. Picks out Perisay now. Some corner we want it, and oh, just got a bit of a tee. It's Kim Little. <laughs> An early opportunity falling the way of Arsenal this time. Yeah, they did really well to break the press of Chelsea. It's a great switch there. Yeah, that's a great pass. Straight into the hands of Hannah Hampton. He's had to come into action for the first time this evening. That was a really nice ball from Leah Williams again. Over lifting it over. James! Oh, it's gone all the way through! Arsenal can't clear it, and Lauren James fires Chelsea ahead. She's so dangerous there, though, you know, especially when she's not able to play in that sort of night role. She doesn't necessarily have the defensive genius to get back. She's just sitting there in between the centre-back, Woman Moy and Catley, not really doing anything, really, just there, able to set up on it, but it's a good press from right there. Cuthbert, Rutin Connery, and it's Cuthbert, oh, it's up to was there in the right place at the right time. Chelsea have two, and how important those goals could be in the race for the title. Arsenal just don't seem that they can get close enough to Chelsea. You know, and I think just watching in that build-up, what I think they're really struggling with is Lauren James's movement. You know, Leah Vultee, she's she's aware of where James is, but she's also aware of Puppet is. She gets spun too easily here. But the boy's not comfortable in stepping out. You know, McCabe's got drawn all the way in, so he's not even close enough to get there for the cross. It's just too slow. You know Eric Cuthbert's coming there. You know he's going to have a strike. Someone needs to go and charge that ball down and don't allow it to happen. They're too... It was a huge victory for them in the reverse fixture. And here is Blackstinius with the flag is from Chelsea in his opening 24 minutes or so. And will be Beth Mead. And fires it into the stands where the Arsenal away... Belty again. It allows Catley to get forward down that wing. There's Beth Mead. And Charles stood strong. Connery has options ahead of her as well. Rooting Connery. Oh, it's hit. Nuska. And it's gone all the way in. Chelsea have got three. Wow, what a first half performance this is from the home side. The reigning champions, Chelsea, are in complete control over Arsenal. You could say Chelsea are doing exactly to Arsenal what Arsenal done to Chelsea the Emirates. They're bullying them. Arsenal just seem to be so fearful when Chelsea attack, but it's, it's come from a, a Leah Williamson trying to do a diagonal ball. Ritten Canaroo's positive, she's driving forward. Initially, I did think she'd missed the chance to play it to James. But it's sloppy, you can't keep backing off as a defender. Eventually, you have to go and step. I mean, listen, it takes a, a cruel defection. Leah Williamson turns, I think, she because he... Arsenal. And it certainly doesn't look like that's going to happen. Lauren James from distance. And you wouldn't put it past them. Really pivotal point in the season. Now, Kevin Ford charging forward for Arsenal. And 
the touch just gave the Chelsea defence a little bit more time to clear it away. Leopold's. Sports. Here's Lauren James. Lauren James, she's just running riot, really. Will be right in it. Just bounced over. It wasn't far away at all. No, it wasn't far away at all. Takes it to Lauren James. Still James. Does it get that? Now like Stenius looking for Beth Mead and, it... and Charles, who has uh, not been letting enjoy really down that right side for Arsenal. Well, that will be that for the first half, and what a performance! What a first half performance from Chelsea. Lauren James try and get themselves back into this game after what has been a very dominant first half performance from Chelsea and so away we go in the second half here at Stamford Bridge the atmosphere has been absolutely I think she's so important for pre the press with Arsenal she's so good at that here's McCabe yeah. he's hoping to test Hampton from distance yeah and straight away we can see what happens when Katie's coming in from that left hand side I've seen her score from there plenty of times so you'd certainly be encouraging her to shoot from left by the cape so it will be Beth Mead with the delivery and uh, it's Connery looking to go all the way through for Chelsea well Zinsberg has stopped it just in time I think you should be saying really it should be four and I think you're looking at an issue that comes from Hampton what the cave's delivery into the hands of Hampton but not a woman Moy was making herself available on that far side. Yeah, too close, way too close. Charles forward and looking to play in Lauren James here. It's James! Stopped by Zinsberger. Another important stop. Now Guru Wrighton. And then back here by Lacaz. Okay, and a charge Guru. A chance perhaps for Alessia Russo, who looks to try and squeeze a bit of school right in. So right in across, and it's... McCabe with the corner delivery. McCabe looking for the cross, and again... Looking to try and find a way through to James again, who... Yes, the strike away, and it did deflect off uh, Cooney Cross. Lauren James, putting it over. And, and they've got the FA Cup semi-final too, so still very much on track for a quadruple. Putting Connor Reed. Be so far off the pace and so far away from from the players. Harris with the camera. McKay with the corner to uh, Little Hawk. and is there perhaps still a way back for Arsenal Kim Little on the edge of the box from distance or is it too little too late very good Kim very good what a strike from Kim Little just sitting on the edge of the box and again Cave across is Lacasse. Now Russo just couldn't get the power behind it to really test Hampton. Williamson finds Russo. Picked up here by Leonard and Marnham. Well, she spotted that Hampton was just off the line and had a go. Here's Lawrence. And keeps going for Chelsea. Lawrence! Because this, a huge. Pivotal win for Chelsea, the reigning champions who knew they had to win this game to stay in control of the title race, and they've done just that.